Turning now from Washington to Wall Street and more on the economic outlook for the new year. Here is NBC's senior business correspondent Stephanie Rule. Always great to break down this part of the story. Okay, 2021 was crummy. Uh, there was inflation. Prices were up at supermarkets, gas. Everywhere you turned, it seemed like you were paying more. Wholesale numbers are up. So. Get Tur ready. Get the tea leaves out. Wait, what's happening in 2022? You're likely still going to be paying oh. more. You know, this idea that it's short term, it's transitory. The Fed chair, Jay Powell, very recently said inflation is likely going to be more stubborn than we thought. Remember, why are we facing this? It's all about the pandemic. Yeah. When With supply chain issues and yeah. shortages, there hasn't been enough product at a time when we saved up and we we're ready to go out again, so we wanted to spend. That supply-demand mismatch has pushed up prices. And mm -hmm. what's keeping them high? Mm. Well, we're spending. We're out there. Mm. We might not like the higher prices, but we're paying them. So retailers and brands have raised their prices, and they're not really incentivized to offer big sales and undercut one another. They don't need to right now. The good news, yeah. a lot of those supply chain issues are starting to work themselves out. So we won't be in this situation forever. But in the short term, it is a good idea to tighten the belt, save where you can, because we're going to be with these prices for a bit. All right, let's look at the stock market for a second. It was really a recovery time with the pandemic, every, everything trying to get on its feet. But if you're like a regular human being at home who might invest some money in the stock market, do you think 2022 is a good time to invest? Well, listen, it has been a great time to invest over the last few years, especially mm -hmm. because we had this accommodative monetary policy, meaning the Fed really put these guardrails on the market to protect them. They're not mm -hmm. going to be doing that anymore now that we're in this economic recovery. So things could get a little rocky. And remember, if interest rates get higher, mm -hmm. that could impact the stock market. When interest rates are at zero, there's nowhere to invest your money but the stock market. Mm -hmm. When it's in a savings account, it's earning nothing. Right. When and if interest rates go up, which they likely will, it's going to be a little more difficult in stocks. Some people wanted to buy a house in 2021, but prices were like sky high. So they, they thought, forget it. I'll wait. Is it worth the wait? Okay. Well, I do not have a real estate crystal ball. Yeah. However, analysts say, again, this goes back to supply and demand. During COVID, we weren't building houses. Mm -hmm. there, there has been a labor shortage, a lumber shortage, and prices were higher. We're back building again, so they expect we're going to have more supply at the end of the year. And also, when interest rates are at zero, people buy houses. Right. It's easy to borrow. When we see rates go up, things are going to get a bit more expensive. But right now, people who are buying houses are trying to lock in fixed rate mortgages because okay. they're worried about inflation. That makes sense. If you're trying to bank some money for retirement, I know there's a new deal that you can add an extra thousand dollars to your 401k, which is which is great. But what's the best way to save for retirement in 22? Just start saving. Start saving. Lots of us are yeah. like, oh, it's years away. I don't yeah, need to do it. Do it bother. as soon as you can. As a general rule, we say try to put 15% of your salary away in a 401k or a 401k type account. If you haven't done much and you're 50, you can put up, you can, you can catch up uh -huh. and add more. But the number one thing is if you work at a company that matches your yeah. contribution, match it, do it. do it. That is actually free money. It's yeah. very rare that I tell you there's free money. There is there. You always just give good general advice. So I'm just talking for regular people who are watching right now now, butterflies in their stomach, wondering what it looks like ahead. What would be your best advice for someone who's thinking about the future? So especially for people who are saying right now, I want to invest in the market. Yeah. They went to parties the last year. I made this money. I made that. You can invest in the markets, but it's about your timeline. If you need that money a year from now for a wedding or a house, stock market is not your friend. Mm -hmm. If you can invest for the long term, start to educate yourself. Dip a toe. Go to uh, today.com slash on the money. We've got mm -hmm. advice for you. You can invest in the markets, but please don't do it emotionally. Fear of missing out is never a way to socialize or invest. Okay. Oh. FOMO. Okay. I, another, another thing I learned today for you, Steph. Thanks. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.